What's up, everybody? We did it. We pressed the button. We are now on Patreon.com backslash Nerd Theory, where you can get exclusive content. You can actually make us do things. We're like dancing puppets. You can get your name read out by Stephen Ford and Stephen, say a name. Brian W. Doe. You know you want that in the middle of a podcast to hear your name because you're vain. I know it. All right, and you get things like that. I mean, seriously, we're like, we, we'll do that for you each episode. So why won't you? Patreon.com backslash Nerd Theory. <laughs> Methods for a little synthetic killing. It's all harmless fun. I need to finally admit something. And that is I am not a car person. At no point in my life have I ever wanted to know about alternators, shocks, and everything in between. However, as much as I don't understand the love of cars, I do have a fondness for racing games. I know it's strange, but I want to see them in action and control them instead of taking time to learn about them. There haven't been a lot of racing games that I play countless hours of, and the last time I had a game like that was about two years ago. The Forza franchise has been one of the go-to racing series for a while now. And as I like the racing sims a lot from Microsoft and Turn 10, I especially love the Horizon series for its arcade element. I didn't think that they could top themselves after the second Horizon entry that took me across Southern Europe, but somehow developer Playground Games manages to do so as they shifted their focus to Australia. The obvious takeaway from the start of the game is that Forza Horizon 3 is the best looking game in this series. While the characters and NPGs may not be the best, the setting and the cars are what is the real focus. The detail of each of the vehicles is just as impressive as the last Forza entry, but while the feel of the cars while driving is different enough for an arcade racer, Sim racing fans will probably notice that detail and handling isn't as apparent. The rain effects are also something to behold, as it hits closer to reality. The drops will stream off your windshield in a more realistic manner that can obscure your view. Travitars have become a staple to the Forza franchise, and that holds true for Horizon 3. However, this time around, the Travitars are not only there for you as a challenge, but they exist to give you the opportunity to hire and fire your friends. Based on the performance, of course. The blueprint element in Horizon is added as a way for you to set up events that will be played within Horizon and the corresponding areas. You can literally set up your own gameplay and share it with your friends by changing the route of a particular event, the time of day and weather conditions, the eligible cars, and even event restrictions. If you play your friend's blueprint, you'll earn rewards as well. The overall goal of Horizon 3 is to get new fans that will allow you to open up new events in different areas of Australia, and some within existing ones. You do this by racing, drifting, destroying property, performing stunts, and so on. While these are fun in itself, most of these are things that we've done before in the past with this series. While these are still fun, I wish there was a new element added where I wasn't just trying to smash signs or discover new roads. Like its predecessor, one of Horizon's three best features besides its driving is the soundtrack. During the campaign, you will be given the option to unlock new radio stations. I have always thought that the Horizon series had the best soundtracks, and it's no different here. I found myself driving sometimes just to hear the music on my radio that you can flip through. And there's always, always seemed like there was something I loved to listen to. The choice of listening to older DMX all the way to more alternative bands like Churches and the 1975 while discovering even more obscure bands like The Knox was a blast. Every two years I change up my personal track list at home because of Horizon. I don't know what a differential is, and while I love the original Forza series, I was never savvy enough with automotive jargon to understand exactly how much tuning was needed for a car. Fortunately, I didn't need to as there is auto-tune options in the original series. Horizon 3 is not that much different as you have the option of paying a certain amount of credits to upgrade your car, however, the upgrading in 3 is not near the kind of tuning you do in the regular Forza series. I could tell the difference immediately when I messed up something with my car when I manually tuned it. With Horizon, the difference isn't as apparent. While this didn't make or break the game for me personally, fans of the original series might feel a little alienated. Having said that, Horizon 3 is an arcade racer, so the drastic change of a car in its setting may not be that big of a deal. Typically, when I play games, I play to finish off all the objectives or races and move to the next game. With Horizon 3, I have no problem just driving around Australia so I can challenge others that pass me, beat my own stunt scores, or see how fast I can drive through an area. 
With the music set up high and the beautiful atmosphere to look at regardless if it's in the outback or near the ocean with its beautifully rendered water, Forza Horizon 3 is a must play for arcade racing fans, or just racing fans in general. Racing simulation enthusiasts may not appreciate it as much, but gamers that want to have a fun game probably will. I'm going to end off by saying this. There are not enough of these games. And when I said that the last arcade racer I loved was released two years ago, it was the last Forza Horizon game. If I have to wait another two years for this type of experience to occur, then so be it. Arcade racers should look at the Horizon series and aspire to be just as great or better. I just hope it doesn't take another two years to do so. I give Forza Horizon 3 a perfect score of 5 out of 5. Thanks everybody for watching the video, please like the video, and better yet, please subscribe to the Nerd Theory channel, we have so many things coming to you. Retro plays, let's plays, react videos, unboxing videos, we have it all, we have, we have plans, okay? We have plans, and to help execute those plans, please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash nerdtheory. Thanks very much, I'm Brian, and I'm out.